Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? I hope you're excited. We got another video. Today, we are going over five NHL players who are off to very hot starts and could see their Young Guns cards rise very fast if they can keep it up. Obviously, the season's only been going for about a week and a half, and some teams uh, have only played four or five games. But I think that's a good opportunity for you to get in before people start really building hype behind some of these names. Might be a little bit of time to get in before the hype really starts to build around some of these players. Uh, these are, this is just my list. It's not the right list. Uh, let me know if I missed anyone. I know I will not be talking about Steven Stamkos in this video, but he is currently leading the league in goals with seven uh, at the time of this recording i'm recording this on saturday before the games have started so it's a little outdated it won't include the saturday and sunday games but yeah let's get into it so we're going to start this list off with some lower valued cards and make our way up so we're first we're going to talk about valerie nishushkin for the colorado avalanche he's been off to an insane start he has 10 points in five games scoring at two points per game currently tied for second in the league with connor mcdavid and i i see a real opportunity here with the gabe landis cog injury over the next 12 12 weeks for Nichushkin to really step up. So with the Lance Cog injury, Valerie Nichushkin is playing on that top power play. I'm not sure if before the injury, if he was on it or not. Maybe Lekkinen was there. But either way, Nichushkin will get most of his points from that power play. His line mates right now aren't that great. He's playing on the second line with Comfort and Kout. Uh, I don't see that first line of Lekkinen, McKinnon, and Rantanen getting split up anytime soon. But I think that power play time will be enough for Nichushkin to get his points. Not a financial advisor, so take this with a grain of salt. Uh, he's currently selling for around 10 or $15 Canadian uh, per card on eBay. I think that's a good buy. I think if he can keep this up a month into the season, be near the top of the league in points, uh, this card could double in value. All right, the next guy we're going to talk about, I hate Vegas, but Logan Thompson has been out to a very hot start. Uh, the rookie goaltender for the Las Vegas Golden Knights. It looks like Vegas is going to roll with Thompson as their starter this year. And if Vegas does well, that means Thompson's cards will do well two so at five to ten dollars a card right now on ebay i think that's a pretty fair price considering how much this card can grow but i could also see vegas loading up at the deadline acquiring another goaltender they don't have the cap to do it so they'd have to clear some up but i don't know how sold i am on thompson as the starter but as long as he's the starter in vegas his cards should have a lot of potential to grow Thompson's looked good in the games he's played so far. He's currently 3-0 with a 203 goals against average and a 938 save percentage. If he can keep this up, I think he could also double in value like Nachushkin. But then again, I don't know if I'm sold it on him as a starter. We'll see what happens when teams get, get a better read on him, get a book on him. We'll see how he reacts when that happens. But yeah, nice young goaltender for a good team. That's off to a hot start. So the next guy we're going to talk about that's got off to a hot start, I've seen a couple comments on the channel uh, on the Young Guns videos talking about this guy, how they think it's going to, he's going to break out this season. Rasmus Dahlin has had a fantastic start to his 2023 NHL season. Uh, he's put up six points in four games, including four goals. He's leading all defensemen in scoring. Do we... Is he finally breaking out? I don't know. We'll see if he can keep this up. We're already getting hyped up about Darlene thinking the breakout is here. His card's up to $40 Canadian on eBay. Uh, he's off to a good start, but I think a lot of his success depends on how good Buffalo is actually going to be this season. And I'm not confident that Buffalo is going to be like a, a playoff bubble team. Uh, I think if Buffalo can do well, I think Darlene can have a breakout season. I think he's capable of it. Uh, I just don't know if he has enough support around him to keep this up. And in hockey cards, offense drives value. So even if he's playing well defensively, that's not going to affect his cards too much. He needs to get those offensive numbers. And I don't know if Buffalo has enough weapons to help him do that. But obviously, if he goes on, he keeps this up, and he wins a Norris or gets nominated for the Norris this season, his cards will skyrocket. The next guy we're going to talk about is currently leading the league in points at the time of this recording. It's Artemi Panarin for the New York Rangers. The Rangers early on in this season looked like an absolute wagon scoring uh, like crazy. And Panarin's been putting up loads of points. He's got 11 so far. I think 100 points is easily possible for Panarin this season with that Rangers offense. Uh, they look great. 
And I think he could be in the Hart Trophy talk at the end of the season. I don't think he wins it, though, with guys like McDavid. You got Matthews, McKinnon, even McCarr. Uh, guys like, I think there's just too much competition for, for Panarin to win a Hart Trophy. But I still think his cards could go up in value. With that New York Rangers market being as crazy as it is, uh, and Panarin being their best offensive weapon, I think his cards have a lot of room to grow. Currently selling for around $50 Canadian on eBay, but I could easily see this growing to to 70 or 80 if he can keep up this insane pace obviously i don't think the rangers are going to score six or seven goals every game uh he should slow down a bit but if he does keep up this pace uh just take note all right and the last guy we're going to talk about in today's video a bit of a homer pick but I can't deny the hot start for him. It's Cole Caulfield scoring four goals in the first five games of the season. He's at a point per game right now. Nick Suzuki as well. I think he's over a point per game right now. I think he has six points in five games. But I just like Caulfield better because of his goal scoring ability and goal scoring cells in this hobby. You watch Caulfield play, you can just tell that he has that it factor, that he can score in the big moments. And I think 40 goals is definitely possible for him this season. He only needs to score... 36 goals over the next 77 games and I think he I saw a stat on TV the other night he's like second in the league in goals since Marty St. Louis took over him he might be lower a little bit lower but still he's been on the same pace since Marty St. Louis took over I love the goal scoring from him Suzuki's in the same boat he just doesn't score as many goals obviously but he will probably end up getting more points they're very similar cards suzuki and caulfield but i like caulfield better because of the goal scoring i might be a little biased here but i look at austin matthews's young guns and then i look at cole caulfield i think if cole caulfield can become a 50 goal scorer in that market his cards could go up to crazy prices like austin matthews obviously they're different players in different markets but i think it's a similar situation if caulfield could reach his ceiling caulfield it's currently selling for around a hundred dollars Canadian on eBay, maybe a little bit higher now. Uh, I think that's a good long term buy. I don't know if both Caulfield and Suzuki keep up their pace this season. I think the Habs will come to back down to earth and be one of the bottom teams in the league, and their scoring will drop off a bit. But I think long term, these two cars are definitely good plays. So, yeah, guys, please take this list with a huge grain of salt as I'm not a financial advisor and we are only four or five games in the NHL season. I just thought I'd point out some guys that are off to hot starts and hopefully help you beat the hype train some of these guys could fall off an absolute cliff like Darlene or Panarin or even Caulfield they could just dry right up uh, it's, it is possible it is just four or five games so just keep that in mind obviously I couldn't cover every single player that has got off to a hot start there's so many more that I didn't talk about in this video that are off to good starts so let me know down in the comments below who's off to a hot start that I didn't mention in today's video leave a like on the video help it get out to more people I would really appreciate it and if you enjoy what you saw here today please consider subscribing uh, it means a lot to me and helps me make some more videos for you guys to enjoy anyways guys take Take care. Have a good one.